How's it going guys and welcome back to the channel and today we are showing off my final Bricklink order um, For now, no doubt I will be buying more. There's some minifigures I still want, but I'm not fussed on getting the set um, I'm running out of room for sets. I have one spare box uh, One spare box left for small stuff and I have just enough space I think for the newest set that I bought today before we get into this we'll fuck that down there for a second I bought two new sets today one of them both of them sorry were actually on offer so and they're to do with my stop-motion Batman movie that I am working on at the moment and that is first one is this the Batman mech versus poison ivy mech now poison ivy's mech is 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 uh is reasonable it's a little plant thing uh but you get this cool looking bat mech some of them extra action pieces i just wanted the orange ones i have blue ones already which is great um so i got the orange ones as well you get a different type of flash i already have a flash from a poly bag but i'm honestly mainly getting the set for for the for the mech suit and that firefly figure looks oh so good so i got that for uh 28 uh, it was on. It was on offer. So that was a, that's a, that was a good price. I got that from Argos. So I'll just I'll just leave that one over there. Uh, this this is the big one. Boom. The Bat Cave, the second Bat Cave, I believe. If you don't count the Junior one, um, yeah, I wanted to get the first one, the really old from the first series of Batman sets. I wanted to get the first one, but to get that completed, or uh, like complete with everything still sealed, it was costing a lot on Bricklink. Um, so I said, I just get this one. You get the nice clay face thing here. So I said, you know, I'll just get that. Um, and it's it's nice. It'll do it'll do the job. I'll probably add my own bits to it. Um, oh, I I'd like to make it a bit bigger. I want to make like a little armor area, and you know, have all my different Batman uh, stationed there. So I'll probably add my own. Uh, my own couple of little, of little bits, but um, I got that for 86 instead of 110 Which for this set still isn't bad like its full price still isn't actually that bad uh, I'm gonna be when I do my Star Wars stop motions I am paying a good bit for uh, a UCS set that I want in the movie um, I'll be showing that off at a different time. So I'm just gonna I Just said I'd mention them, but let's get back to the main main thing that is this so this is the last one so let's let's uh cut this open and see what we have inside because i can't remember all of it off the top of my head i always forget my bricklink orders i need to uh need to stop doing that hopefully he has loads of plastic bags in this them things are very very handy all right, so, oh yeah. Oh, there's more. All right, let's toss that away. So let's get started with the first one I can find, which instead of getting her set, though I am going to be getting her set, because of the dead shot that comes in that set. But we'll see how that goes. So let's just put her together. And we have Harley Quinn. Uh, again, a little bit of weird pale sick, sicky looking on, uh, on, the, on the chest, but that's just some of the, the uh, problems that Lego's having with their print. Like Batman right now is pale and looks like he's dead. Uh, nice print though, um, little bandolier belt at the back. Uh, no matter how many Harley Quinns there are, I still always prefer the uh, gesture, black and black and red outfit. That's always the best. Uh, nice dual mill, dual wheel mold. Jesus, um, hairpiece there with a angry alternate face. But for now, we'll keep her looking all happy and smiley. So that was just to have someone go with, with my Joker. Um, so there's there's Harley Quinn. So we'll just we'll just leave her over here to the back. Now, mini fig series. I got some extra ones of these. Um, however, I did not know 
that they would come in their little packaging. So it's kind of like I get to reopen them. I used to love opening these things. Uh, but it's, it's been open to verify the contents. Um, this is series 16. Yeah, series 16. So that, that's... Let's see, who do we have here? I just wanted some some extra extra people to, to have. So this is, do you know what? I, I don't actually know who this is at all, if I'm honest. Um, who are you? Hmm, all right, let me, uh, let me flick out the instructions real quick. Oh, did I get the thief? Did I get the jewel thief? I can't actually remember who I ordered off this one. Pretty sure it was the thief. I wish I got the ice queen. She looks she looks quite cool. Um, all right, cool. So uh, from my guess, this goes on the back. Head goes there. Hairpiece goes. The, the, the hairpiece goes there. We, yeah, it's like a it's like a, a a thief with really cool spy. Oh, that was it. There's a spy. That was who he was. Uh, a spy. Um, now I remember. God, my memory is actually is actually terrible. Um, okay, let's put him on his little stand. Okay, and there you go. Uh, series sixteen spy figure. Uh, it does not come with an alternate face because you can kind you'd be kind of able to see it by the on the hairpiece there. Um, comes with nice little spy goggles things I can clip on to uh, helmets and stuff as well, but this just clips onto the hair. Nice little pistol and a, a whip piece. Um, I don't know why there's a whip piece there, but he looks really good. Uh, I'm gonna be including him now um, in my movie uh, soon enough as well. So that's just another, another nice little figure to have. Then we have another. Another uh, minifig series one. This is series 16 again. Who did I get? Who? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know this one. I know this one. This one is, is, is quite nice, actually. Um, I got him just for the simplicity of, of, his char of the character, and you get the nice ar um, arrow rack. For the the back, you get a really nice hood piece actually that I'm probably going to use for somebody else. But let me just clip that on there as well. Yep, perfect. And it's just the bandolier or whatever he's called, the ranger, I think. Yeah, I think it's just called the ranger. Just enough, just nice to have. Again, I'm going to be using most, like, some of these type of characters. I'm going to be using them as, like, weird villains or just henchmen or stuff. It's going to be, it's going to be quite cool. So that's him. Uh, I don't think you get any, any back print on him. No. So that's just another little minifigure that I, I, I wanted. So I got him on the store. That's just the packet. Uh, then I think all of these, geez, that is, that's, a, that's a big bag there. Uh, this is, I think, the last, one of the last minifigures, and then the rest is actually just parts. Uh, this is series 16 again. Series 17, sorry. That's just, uh... oh dear. Parts are missing, I repeat, parts are missing. <laughs> That's okay. We have every we have everything here. All right, so this one looks a little bit more complicated. So we put that there. Geez, I need to stop dropping everything. Similar piece to the ninja though. Oh, I was meant to put on his cape first, damn it. Let me just, let me just, sorry now, let me just uh, put on his, his wee cape. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's, that's a nice figure. Oh, there goes my timer. That means I have to take my tablets soon. So this video is probably going to be a little bit a, a little longer out of the out of my Lego series, but uh, and he's just a, a bandolier branded dude with two flintlock pistols, well, really nice looking. Um, but that's just again just another henchman baddie that I, I'm gonna I might have in, in certain movies. I've probably done his cape wrong. Um, his cape looks a little off to me there. Uh, let me let me just let's have a quick look at this. See what way his cape's meant to be. He has a question mark on him. Why has he got a question mark on him? How am I supposed to know if that's the right one? Oh, doesn't matter. Okay, so that's him. That's the bandolier dude. Let's put him on his little stand. Okay, so. Then we have a bag. The, on this order, if you wanted to order anything, it would make you order them by like 14 or 12 or something mad so on this this is literally just black cheese wedge pieces for roof stuff um i got these i can't remember why but i just got them um they were they were cheap enough but yeah they're literally just little black pieces that i'm going to use for particle effects if i can uh, or just building just to have like little black cheese wedge pieces are is, is always nice to have so that's that. Then in this big bag. Okay. Dear Lord. Um, we have in here stud shooter pieces. I have so many spare triggers, but I have no more spare stud shooters. So I got these ones that clip on instead. They're not handheld. Um, these ones clip on to vehicles and stuff. So I, I got them for custom vehicles uh, and tanks and stuff that I, I will be I will be making. So that is I need to stop dropping everything. Um so that is that is nice to have as well. And in here in this bag is another cool looking minifigure from the Nexo Knight series that I, I wanted as well. So how do you become who you are. This is interesting. Oh, he comes with two faces as well, actually. Nice. All right, so I'll show him off before I put on his wings. Uh, there's his normal face. There's his alternate face. Mouth open, mouth closed. Uh, let's just clip on his wings here. Yeah, he's gonna be he's gonna be an interesting one actually. Uh, I don't quite know where I'm gonna <laughs> include him in the movie, but I got him because I thought he looked cool. Uh, then you put these two ho these these horn pieces or tooth pieces are quite difficult to get a grip on. So just pop them in his helmet, like so. And that's that minifigure. Uh, I don't know who he is from Nexa Knights, but I saw Wings and I saw he looked cool, so I got him. Uh, I will find a, a use for him because he just looks he looks really mean. So that's 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 him anyway. And I think that's it for minifigures. And then I'm pretty sure the rest is just parts. Uh, in here again is what I mean. I only wanted a couple, but he, you'd have to order in bulk. So in here is spring loaded shooters. A lot of them um, that just clip on to vehicles and stuff as well. So there is so many of them. There must be about 14 or so. Um, so that that's them. In here is just some clear transparent pieces for like cockpits, for windows, cars. Um, I'm not going to bother taking them out. You can kind of see them through there. Um, that's that's what they look like. So they're they're nice to have as well. Uh, in here are big, big, thick wheels. Um, I'll take one out just to show them off a little bit better. These are large, larger wheels. Oh, wait, no, they're not. Oh, I know what these are. Yeah, these are the, the rapid-fire stud shooters um, that I wanted. However, I do not know 
how they work. I don't know what you have to clip them onto. I think it's a it's a turn dial or something that you have to clip on to make them make them fire. Um, I'll find figure that out myself. But there's the rapid fire stud shooters, which is which is a uh, nice to have. Again, I got a I got a good few of them actually. I got I got a lot of them. In here is clear transparent cheese wedges for windows and particle effects again in stop motion. So there's a, a bunch of them in that bag as well. Uh, in here is uh, shields and pieces, canopy pieces that will close over uh, or can just, I don't know what I'm gonna use them for to be honest, I, I yeah, there's 14 of, of everything mainly. Uh, they're, they're, they're okay to have as well. And then just a simple, nice simple uh, head for uh, some custom minifigures. So um, that's pretty much it guys for this Sprickling Quarter. Um, a lot of it was parts and a couple of minifigs. Um, the parts, apart from the purple ones, I don't actually remember or I didn't remember them being a multiple. Um, I thought it was only two of them, but I will find a use for them um, in custom builds and, and stuff with uh, latch pieces and stuff. Stud shooters. Uh, and the spring loaded shooters are great to have. I'm I'm looking forward to having them. Um looking forward to having them on um on my custom tanks, ships and vehicles that I'll be making. Um if any of you guys know how to sort out a multi stud shooter, um like how to hook it up so that it actually works on a custom vehicle, uh let me know in the comments. Um, but that's going to do it for, for this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.